In coming up with the, the concept for the um, Western Concourse, a lot of it was driven by the um, location of the London Underground um, station that sits right underneath our feet here. And that meant that we were only able to have a very limited number of load points around the perimeter. So there's actually only 16 um, columns around the side with then the great funnel structure, um, which is just behind me uh, in the centre of the space. Um, other limitations we had was that the Western Concourse roof um, was not allowed to be over the height of the Western Range building. And then there's the uh, Great Northern Hotel uh, just on the opposite side of the building, which limits the geometry um, further again. So the, the structure of the Western Concourse, as I say, we've got the 16 perimeter columns that go round, around the outside of the, of the structure. There's then the funnel, which takes all the diagrid down into the middle of the space. Um, that's the primary structure. Above that then is a secondary structure, which carries the acoustic panelling um, just above our heads. There's then an insulation layer as part of a composite panel system. Um, with then aluminium cladding on the outside of that, which gives a great durability, maintenance and protects from the elements. Unfortunately, in the UK, we were unable to find a contractor who could offer us a one-stop shop that included both the, uh, the steel frame and the cladding. And, and for us, it was very important that we had a, a one-stop shop. From previous experience, we're, we're aware of the sort of problems that you can have at the interface between cladding and structural steelwork. After a while we decided that uh, Sealy were the right people to, to work with. Um, particularly they had a background of these major projects, both in the UK and elsewhere. One of the important things for us as architects was trying to achieve the right level of quality um, on the project within the budget parameters that NetWarel had set. And um, the way we went around doing that was to set up quite a, uh, a good process on submissions in which we would try and have a look at pieces of the project very early on in the construction process before they ever came to site. JMP came with us over to the, the factories in the Czech Republic uh, to see the work in progress and um, we were able to set expectations of quality. It's a real win-win for everyone. The architect um, gets the quality that we're after client doesn't have to pay for abortive work or contractors doesn't have to pay for abortive work and the subcontractors don't have to redo work on site so it's a really great thing. <laughs>